Hey, welcome or welcome back to 4F Beauty. Where will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. Probably never. What I do know, and you also will know this if you've looked at the thumbnail, the title, or if you've read any of the description, is that this is a slightly different film today. Um, I had someone request that because they like my voice, they wanted me to read a certain children's book uh, written by Giles Andre and David Wojcicki, I think. But it is Commotion in the Ocean. So if you'd like to hear me read this, settle down, get comfy, because here we go. Obviously, all copyright stays with the uh, writers and the publishers. I am just reading something that I have been asked to. Motion in the ocean. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales and penguins, there are jellyfish and sharks. There's the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see between the wrecks and in between the rocks and see if we can find who's hiding there? Crab. The crab likes walking sideways and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. Turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch they scamper about in the sand. Dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak but it's not how do you do like I'd say to you but more of a click whistle squeak angelfish hello I'm the angelfish darling the prettiest thing in the sea what a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me the jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling is very good fun. The shark. I swim up with a grin to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer, please? Take a good look inside. Swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It stops me from getting too bored and then when I start feeling hungry I skewer a few on my sword. The octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. It'd also make putting makeup on a lot quicker, wouldn't it? Stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings, 
But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. Lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Deep sea. Miles below the surface, where the water is dark and deep, live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions, of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulbous eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins and the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. The blue whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. Barnacles. We're just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous but it is our favourite thing. Walruses. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. Penguins. We waddle about on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide and then when we get close to the water we leap off with a splosh to the side. Polar bears. Deep out in the Arctic, the mummy polar bear snuggles up with all her children as it's very cold out there. What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite, and some might want to swim around with you. The dolphin's very friendly and the lobster's very fierce, but the shark's the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we've made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. And that, my darlings, is the end of this particular book. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's a new one on me, I have to admit. It's not one that I've read before. Uh, but I get the feeling that next time hubby and I are babysitting our youngest godchild, I may just have to take this with me and read it to him. Although, I suppose if I forget the book, I could always just play the film. Now, obviously, I didn't show you all of the beautiful illustrations in this book. Just to give you a quick skim through, you can see they are absolutely stunning. So if you have a little one and has this book, uh, you know, feel free to have them follow along with me while I'm reading. Um, to the person in my 4F family. I won't name you because I don't know if you want me to. Um, thank you for requesting uh, a book read. That was uh, actually more fun than I thought it was going to be. So, a bit of a different film from me today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope your little ones enjoyed it. Um, and if nothing else, I'm going to pop this into my relaxation playlist. And hopefully you can use it as one of those ones just to gently soothe you and calm you before bed. Let's face it, 
we could all do with a bedtime story every now and again, couldn't we? The only thing is, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to reach to tuck you in afterwards, so you may have to tuck yourself in before you start playing. Alright, my darlings, as always, you'll stay fabulous, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.